Hey guys, it is crazy hair day at the studio today, but that is not what we're here to talk about. I want to show you a product that I'm kind of excited about. It's the Yesker wand light. This is an LED photography light. And with these wand lights, they're just very unique in how you use them. So let's take a look at what comes out of the box and how you might use this light with your photography. So we have here the Yesker LED photography light and let's just take a closer look at what you get. You know, first of all, you know, if you like my videos, I love carrying cases and this one does have one. So when I'm throwing this in my bag with my other stuff or in boxes with other things, at least I know I have one lever layer of insulation that's going to protect it from getting knocked around too much. Check this out. I'm thinking this is about a two foot maybe even longer charging cord. You notice when you get a lot of lights, you get a charging cord about this long. I mean, how far away can you get from your power source? So this is great. You can have this light plugged in and you can actually set it on a table or something. You don't have to kind of leave it dangling or leaning against the wall or whatever the case might be when you're limited to just a little bit of cord. So this is an awesome thing. And here's the light itself. I'd say it's probably about two feet long. And so this is unique, you know, with, um, with LED lights, normally they're square or round. And so that's going to give you a certain light coverage. With this wand shaped light, what I like about it is the fact that it, even though it is small, it kind of lengthens the amount of light that you're going to get. So you can really still focus on a small portion of your model or your product or whatever it is that's going to be in your content but you can get more length of it with this type of light. I can also see a per, uh, an application with it where I might use a main light like I have here, but this could possibly be the fill light on the opposite side. So, you know, maybe it's not gonna be as quite as bright as my key light, but it definitely would fill some of the shadows. Or if you get into some of the color combinations, you can start getting creative. So you have your controls here at the back end. Only, only three buttons, real easy to, to deal with. LCD display. We have a quarter inch mount on the very bottom, so that would mount on top of your light stand. And over on this side, we have our USB charging port. And you can charge this in a laptop, in a wall socket, in a power bank, or any other power source that you may have. Power button is here, and everything comes on. You immediately have a display. It shows how much power you have left on your battery, and it shows what power level your battery is currently on. Now you have an up and a down, so you can go up by 10% or down by 10%. If you actually, if you want to go in smaller increments or faster, you just do a long press and it just does one percentage at a time. This is your function button. Now this light also has some special effects to it. So if I push the function button, just a short press, it changes from one mode to the next. So right here, we're on our standard CCT lighting. One push changes some colors, there's two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And the tenth color, or the tenth, uh, the tenth function, kind of cycles through some different colored lights. I go to number eleven. So this is kind of a warm, kind of like a candle glow or a firelight. One more press takes me into like a flashing light. Maybe you're. Your actors are in a car and you just want to simulate what traffic looks like or they're looking at a TV and just that type of lighting. And then the last push takes me right back to one. Now when I want to turn it off, long press and you're good to go. Another cool feature of this light is this top portion will rotate 180 degrees all the way around. And then if you wanted to get the rest of the way, you could actually go the other way about 90 degrees. So that is a cool feature that you can direct your light. So maybe you have your light stand set up in such a way that you can't move them. You can still redirect the light. Hey guys, I want to thank you for watching this video. Hopefully this uh, gave you some insight on whether or not this Yesker wand light is the right one for you. I'm just kind of excited about the creativity that it's going to bring to the table. So hopefully it'll do the same for you.